you clicked on this video, then you probably don't like studying data structures and algorithms. In fact, you probably hate it. Unfortunately, all of the job hunt success stories you've heard, they all have one thing in common, that people who pass the interview are the ones who spend a lot of time studying data structures and algorithms. Everyone knows that it will take a lot of time to get skilled at algorithms. And this is the really critical part. It takes time to get good at algorithms. This isn't a bad thing though, because this means that getting good at algorithms is a matter of time. Really, the hard part is putting in the time. This is easier said than done because, to be honest, studying data structures and algorithms can be brutal. It's hard to sit down and study for long hours because the process is so frustrating. We inevitably get stuck, confused, and lost, and so this makes us not want to do it. We all suffer from this. Now, what if I told you there is one change you can make? If you can make this one change, that will make you eager to learn data structures and algorithms. If you can make this mental change, you won't have to force yourself to study anymore. You might even enjoy it. You'll be able to push through and do long study sessions. I've landed a job at Google myself, and I've had the pleasure of teaching thousands of engineers how to pass their tech interviews. So I know that this is the secret to finally learning algorithms. We first need to understand why learning data structures and algorithms feels so frustrating in the first place. Up until this point in your life, you've learned many skills. You learned to read and write, you learned math, you learned to drive a car, and you even learned how to code. You've also learned a thousand other things that I won't mention. So why does learning data structures and algorithms feel way more difficult than those other things? Why do we feel so bad about it that we avoid it and can't even bring ourselves to study for an extended period of time? What's the difference between algorithms and those other skills? Here's my theory. The unique thing that makes learning algorithms feel so difficult is that there's so much variation between problems and topics. What I mean is, you can be excellent at linked list problems, but if you've never done a graph problem, then there's no shot you'll be able to solve a graph problem on your own. You can be confident about one problem, but totally lost on another. This is different for most other skills. Compare this to another skill, like driving a car. If someone already learned to drive a car, then they can also probably drive a van or a truck. They'll probably also be able to drive in another country, even though the traffic laws are different. What I mean is, once you learn to drive a car, you'll probably never feel like a beginner driver again. Things will always feel familiar. But with data structures and algorithms, it's different. Even though you've mastered some type of problem or topic, I guarantee that you'll still feel like a beginner again and again every time you're confronted with a new type of problem. The reason learning algorithms feel so uncomfortable is because of your expectation. You expect to get the problems right. At face value, this seems harmless, but don't be fooled. The danger lies in what you do when you inevitably get stuck on a problem. When you get stuck on a leak code problem, you think that something is wrong with you. You think that you should have known the solution. And because you didn't know the solution, you think that you're dumb or that data structures just aren't for you. The reason you dread studying data structures and algorithms is because you don't feel like you're getting better. So now that we know the problem, where do we go from here? What's the solution? After teaching thousands of software engineers data structures and algorithms over the years, I know the mentality that makes someone have success in their learning. The students that have this mindset are the ones who progress quickly and end up landing their dream job. The truth is, if you want to make real progress in your learning, then you need to understand that getting stuck on problems is normal. You need to realign your expectations. Just because you get stuck or need to look at the solution does not mean that you aren't making progress. It amazes me how harsh people treat themselves when they study. I run an algorithms course with video walkthroughs and animated explanations for every single problem. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Occasionally, I'll get a message from a student who's feeling overwhelmed by the material. Usually, the first thing I do is ask them about how they're using the course to see if there's anything we can optimize there to try to diagnose the issue. I ask them if they're doing the course in order since the material builds up progressively, and I ask how long they allow themselves to be stuck on a problem before looking at the walkthrough. Things like that. Here's the interesting part. More often than not, the student will tell me that they feel bad because they need to watch the video walkthrough for a problem. Now, to be clear, they don't feel bad because they don't understand the walkthrough. In fact, they specifically tell me that they totally understand the walkthrough. They feel bad at the fact that they needed to watch the walkthrough in order to understand how to solve the problem. They expected to be able to solve the problem on their own without any help. I'm here to tell you that this expectation is unrealistic. 
For new problems, you will simply not know how to solve them on your own. The only way to solve them is if someone teaches you how first. No one is born with this knowledge, and virtually no one invents algorithms on their own. There's nothing wrong with getting stuck on a problem and needing to use resources to move forward. It's normal to get stuck when you study. In fact, getting stuck is exactly what studying should feel like. While you study, you can and should help yourself by looking at the walkthrough. Despite your deepest beliefs, using the walkthrough does not mean you're giving up on the problem. You have the tools in front of you to gain the knowledge now, so there's no need to be upset that you need to use those tools. The important thing is to leverage those explanations thoroughly now, so that you can do the problem on your own in the future. Study this problem with resources now so you can do it on the interview later. Practice is just practice. When you sit down to study, you're not sitting down for a real interview. So don't be hard on yourself if you aren't perfect. Remember why you decided to study. It's so you can fix your understanding now. And here's some perspective. No matter how good you get, you can still get stuck on a problem. And I don't just mean kind of stuck. I mean, you can be totally lost on a problem even after you've mastered many topics. I pass the tech interviews at Google and teach algorithms for a living, but I'll be the first to admit that there are some problems out there that can stump me. Some problems will just fall outside of the realm of your current experience, no matter how good you get. Now you might hear all of this and wonder, well then what's the point of studying? If you could spend all that time studying and still get stuck on a new problem, does it even matter if you study? I'm here to tell you, of course it matters. In fact, the point of studying is to experience as many problems now, so that when you walk into that interview, you have those experiences under your belt. Data structures and algorithms will always feel like an uphill battle. As soon as you feel good about one topic, you'll quickly be humbled by the next. This is totally normal. It's not that you aren't improving, it's actually the opposite. You are improving. As you get smarter, the problems you confront get equally harder, making you feel dumb again, until you eventually master them, at which point you move on to a new set of even harder problems that make you feel dumb once again until you eventually master those, and again and again, the cycle repeats itself. You get smarter, but the problems you need to learn next also get harder. So don't be too hard on yourself during the journey. It's all part of the process. If you like my take on learning data structures and algorithms, then I think you'll enjoy my complete course at Structi.net. It's a course designed to take you from the basics of algorithms all the way to advanced topics. The best part is I've designed the curriculum so that it builds your understanding gradually. There are animated explanations and code walkthroughs for every single problem to make sure you really grasp the concepts. If you hate Lee code or can't seem to improve by using other courses, I definitely recommend you give Structi a try for free today. I'll leave a link in the video description if you're interested.